Looks like it's gonna be a tough landing, guys. You wanna check the heads up display? Oh yeah, definitely not gonna be easy. All right, hang on everybody, we're going in. HitFilm Sensei here. Today in this video, we are going to do this heads up display effect in HitFilm Pro 2017. Now the reason that we're doing it in HitFilm Pro 2017 is because it requires a specific effect, the atomic particles effect, that can only be found in HitFilm Pro 2017. So let's get going. We're gonna start by creating a new composite shot. So clicking here, and I'm gonna call this HUD or heads up display, and I'm gonna only make it five seconds, okay? Click OK, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new plane layer, and I'm gonna call this plane layer the grid, and it's going to be black, but I want it to be about 3,000 pixels by 6,000 pixels, so it's gonna be pretty big. And then I'm gonna twirl open this little checkerboard and make it into a 3D plane. It's gonna ask if I want a camera, and the answer is yes, I do. And then I'm going to take that and under the transform properties, I am going to rotate it 90 degrees on its x-axis, 90 degrees. Now what I want to do is, is I want to add a grid effect to it. So I'm going to, under the effects, I'm going to search for grid. It's under the generate folder, and I'm going to drag it onto the plane, okay? Under the new camera transform properties, I'm going to raise that camera up a bit so that I can actually see the grid, and I'm going to back it up on the x-axis until I'm near the front of the grid here this way, okay? And I actually may have to go up a little bit higher, yeah, somewhere like that, okay? Now the grid right now uh, is a little bit lopsided, so we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna open it up, opening the grid properties. Under point one, I'm gonna just make these about 10 by 10, and then under point two, about 100 by 100, but you can play with those however you feel would work, okay? Also, under the color, I'm gonna go ahead and make it green, but you can, again, make it any color you like. Doesn't really matter, it's your choice, okay? All right, so that's, that's how we've set up our grid. Our camera can now kind of run over the top of the grid this way, okay? And we will keep frame that camera movement here in a second. But first, we're going to add the special effect, and that is the atomic particle layer only. It's under the particles and simulation folder. And I'm gonna drag that onto the grid. And then what I'm going to do is, is I'm gonna twirl open that atomic particles. And under the fractal section, we're going to ramp up the, and I can't quite see it, displace strength. And it sort of causes it to warp and uh, you know, almost like being crumpled up like a piece of uh, um, uh, paper, right? And that's 150, maybe 100, something like that. I'm gonna also move the iterations up to five. You could make it four, three, whatever. Now the problem is, is right now it's it's actually moving. So if I were to play it, it looks sort of like it's an ocean, you know, almost. So I'm gonna reset the speed to zero on that. So now when I play it, it doesn't move at all, right? And that's pretty much it. So now I can just take my camera and I can move the camera forward over the top of it as if it's some sort of a mountainous region on the HUD, right? So if I were to say back up to the beginning of the timeline, keyframe the position, move to the end of the timeline, and maybe 2,800, something like that. Okay, now when it's, and it's just sort of moving over the top of that in that five seconds. And pretty much that's it. Now, the only other thing that I would do is I would go ahead and up the number of particles that we had there. So under the particle placement, number of particles, you could go ahead and ramp that all the way up to 1,024, which is as much as it'll go in this project, and then ramp the other one up to 1,024, and now you have these really stark lines, but that takes, it makes the computer slow down, takes a lot more time to render, uh, which is why I always like to wait until last to do that after I've kind of set up the effect. 
The rest of the HUD effect is simply overlays that we drop in on top of what we did today. And if you would like for me to cover that maybe in a future tutorial, I would be delighted to. Just drop them in the comments below and let me know. So that's it in a nutshell. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday, and thanks for your support.